Hi and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew, your sewing and pattern making headquarters. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to draft a bodice pattern using measurements that you've taken. This works great if you'd like to create a custom bodice pattern for yourself or someone else. What you're going to need are your basic drafting supplies and then you'll also need your measurements. We have a handy guide over on our website. There's a link to it down in the description that's going to tell you all the measurements that you need and give you a handout that you can record them on. Now I am going to be working in pen so that you guys can see me. I'm using a black marker, but you want to work in pencil. First measurement that we're going to use is back of neck to waist plus a half an inch. So for me that is 18 and a half inches. And I like to label as I go. So we've got A and we've got B. Next measurement is going to be your half shoulder measurement. And that's that measurement you took across your shoulders. So for me, it's seven and a half. And we'll make a little mark there. Next measurement we want to mark is our neck measurement divided by four. So you're going to take whatever your neck measurement was and divide it by four. For me, that's going to come out to three and a quarter. I'm going to make a little dot up here on this line here. And what these two dots give me are the guidelines for my neck measurement, my neck line. So I'm going to take my French curve, and you want a pretty decent curve on your front bodice. There we go. Let's go ahead and mark these D and E. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a diagonal line between C and B. Our next measurement is going to be marked along this diagonal line and you should have a measurement that you took from shoulder to center waist and that's what we're going to mark here. Mine was 17, so I've got my 17 lined up down here on B and I'm going to make a mark right here. Now I'm going to come from this mark over. This is going to be my new shoulder seam. This is our new shoulder seam. We're going to label it F. You should have taken a measurement that was right at your nipple line and we're going to measure that from F down and make a mark. What this gives us is our center bust point marking. From this dot we want to make a straight line all the way down. I'm going to be kind of eyeballing this area here because that's where we want it to come to. I'm going to close this off and I'll join those up. Make sure you keep everything square. There we go. So next is going to be our dart leg because you know your darts come out from your bust point. So you're going to want to look at the sheet to get the exact measurement that we have over on the website because it depends on the difference between your high bust and your full bust. So what we're going to do is come down two inches and make a mark. Everybody's going to come down two inches. The difference is going to be how far out you come. For me, it's five eighths. I'm just going to use my easy hem gauge right there because it's exactly five eighths. What I need to do is measure my dart leg because you want your dart legs to be the same length. It is right at seven inches. So I'm going to come over from this line. I want to intersect that one and come out seven inches. Now our next line is what's going to give us the rest of our waist measurement to close up this bottom seam so to speak. So the way we get that is we take our waist measurement and this is part of our waist measurement. We do not include this because remember this is going to be closed up. That's going to be our dart and we do the rest of it from here. I've got three inches, a quarter of my waist measurement, 
subtract that three inches and do the remainder over here. I don't want anything drastic. And we may have to alter it just a bit, so I'm going to, the angle of it, I'm gonna do it in pencil, and then I'll fill it in here in a minute. Before we get too much further, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my tape because we need to mark our darts. To mark your darts, you're gonna need your tracing wheel. What you wanna do is bring this dart leg, and we're concerned with the bottom section of it, and we wanna bring it over, and we want it to join this side. You wanna take your tracing wheel and rub across those lines. Then we can smooth everything out, tape it back down, and you'll see you've got your dart lines there. Grab the roller, because you want them to be straight. There we go. So at this point we have our dart. And I always like to make a center dart line. It's not necessary, but I'm used to doing it. This next measurement is going to be a guide. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and use pencil. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down five inches from E and make a mark. Our next measurement, we're gonna come from that line across half of our front bust measurement. So my half front bust measurement is nine inches. Okay, now from this little dot, I want a straight line. These are just guidelines, that's why I'm doing them in pencil. And we're just gonna come all the way down. Well, that's not showing up very well. Let me go ahead and Put that in this blue marker for you guys. Okay, so there's the dot. And we'll just make a real light one with this Sharpie. I just realized I never got that line marked off in markers. So let me go ahead and do that real quick for you guys. And that should be H. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come from this mark here up the measurement of that side seam, which should be your waist to your arm's eye. So for me, that is seven and a half inches, and it's gonna be a diagonal line. So we've got seven and a half, and we're gonna come in to where it meets this guideline that we made. Okay. And we'll make a little dot there. Now, we're gonna make another guideline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come across from that dot we just made straight across. I'm gonna do it in blue, because like I said, it's just a guideline. Now, from this, on this line that we made, we're gonna take our quarter high bust measurement and mark. On this line, for me, that was eight and a half. And we're just gonna make a little dot right there and we're gonna use that as a guide. Now, we're gonna be making a mark from here to here and it's gonna intersect here just a bit. And that's going to be for our armhole. This is no more. At this point, we now have our armhole, our neck hole, our shoulder seam, our center front. Let's go ahead and mark this. CF is center front. We've got our dart, and then we have our side seam. All that's left is for you to go ahead and add in your seam allowance, and we do have a separate video and blog post that'll walk you through how to add a seam allowance to a pattern. To get your seam allowance added, go ahead and cut it out and do a test muslin. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, let us know down in the comments section below. If you're looking for more sewing and pattern making tutorials, be sure to visit letslearntosew.com. 
You're sewing in pattern making headquarters.